Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel. Hi, Excelers. Welcome back to another how to excel at excel.com video. Today, I'm going to show you how to count how many cells have negative numbers and how many cells have positive numbers. So to do this, we use the COUNTIF function. So COUNTIF is really useful. It can count cells that meet specific single condition. So using the count if we can specify a single condition and count those cells in the data set that meet that specific condition. So we can count cells that contain texts, numbers, dates, and we can also use some uh, operators such as greater than, less than, and equal to. So for today's, so for today's video, uh, the scenario is I have some sales values. I want to count how many negative values I have and they relate to refunds and how many positive values and they relate to sales within the data set. So very quickly, if we look at COUNTIF, the COUNTIF syntax uh, has two arguments. Uh, first of all, we need to enter a range of cells and this is the, the range of cells that we want to count or be involved in the count. And the second argument is the criteria and this is the criteria that determines which of those cells we want to count. So in the first scenario today, I want to know how many of my values are negative and these relate to refunds. So there's two ways to do this. I can type the criteria right in the formula. So let's start the formula and we start off with equal. And we start off with equal, count if, and Excel brings up the two arguments. So we need to put in the range, which is this. The criteria today is less than zero. And let's close the parentheses. So we actually do have two refunds or negative values within our data set. So you can type your criteria straight in. So the second way to enter the formula is to use criteria that is in another cell. So if I type zero in D6, I can actually use that value as the criteria. So if we write this again, we've got our same range. The criteria now is we can use less than and the value in D6 and close our parentheses. And that gives us two as well, which is correct. So we can type it criteria directly in, or we can use the value in another cell. So in our second scenario, we want to count positive values. So let's start with count if. It's the same range. And the criteria now is greater than zero. And we have nine positive values or sales. So let's complete the set and use the criteria in uh, cell D6. So our range is this and we want greater than our, our value in D6, which again brings back nine. So that's how to use the count if to count positive or negative values in your data set. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question. Sign up to the How to Excel at Excel newsletter for three free tips the first Wednesday of every month. And I'll see you next time for another How to Excel at Excel.com video.